आय विल स्टार्ट बिकॉज आय वॉन्ट टू लिव्ह म्हणजे मला तिकडे यायचं आहे कॉलेजला सो आय इट ऑलरेडी लेट तो स्टार्ट ओके नरुटे साहेब विल स्टार्ट द सेशन देन येस सर नो प्रॉब्लेम सर नो प्रॉब्लेम ओके सो सर गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल द स्टुडंट फ्रॉम व्हेरियस पॉलिटेक्निक्स द रिस्पेक्टेड प्रिन्सिपल्स एच ओ डी नरुटे सर द स्टुडंट फ्रॉम द जी पी अवसारी जी पी अमरावती जी पी कराड जी पी गारगोटी जी पी कोल्हापूर अँड जी पी औरंगाबाद now students today we are joining for the workshop which is based on the internet of things and its applications that workshop will be for 3 days today tomorrow and day after tomorrow up to the 31st march 2021 now listen the internet of things it will be very helpful for all the student and the people those live in the <coughs> working on the very uh, technically they are working on the various agendas iot based workshop will be work for smarter it will improve your logic analytical all these things will be improved for you you can take the control of whatever the things you are doing in addition to to, to these whatever the smart devices we are using for the automation purpose at home in the society in the in the college or in the company or in a group you are working one thing i want to highlight that if you are attending very sincerely it will be a two way communication for you definitely it will be useful for your project also this i am repeating again because for the antc students if you know iot very well smartly and very smart projects you can perform so i request all of you all the student pay attention you have a two way communication and once again thanks to our jitesh sir we has within a short notice he has given the permission ki i am re readily available just go ahead and because of him only we are able to conduct this another things our verma shubhangi verma madam is always uh, taking the interest doing the so many activities and she is the coordinator for these activities thank you very much thank you sir i would like Narote to welcome narote sir. Yes. sir also yes sir सर तुम्हाला बोलायचं दोन मिनिटं नरुटे सर सर व्हेरी गुड मॉर्निंग फॉर ऑफ यू इट इज अ ग्रेट प्रिव्हिलेज फॉर मी टू अटेंड दिस इनॅग्रेशन फंक्शन ऑफ आय वोट एन एक्स ऍप्लिकेशन वर्कशॉप आय अप्रिशिएट द एफर्ट्स टेकन बाय डॉक्टर चंडक सर अँड हिज एन्टायर टीम for organizing this wonderful workshop iot is basically nothing but connecting different things objects and uh, passing the information if you look at the iot market we are expecting 64 billions of iot devices by 2025 nearly 7 billions of automotive components uh, would be connected by the iot in next uh, two couple of years by 2020 to this year nearly every each individual will be wearing six iot devices and so on so the market potential for iot is a very huge uh, as well as uh, entc students can implement various projects using this iot uh, i wish all the organizers uh, uh, i wish all the organizers for organizing this workshop thank you very much thank you sir Uh, sir today we are having jitesh sir he is a expert for this uh, iot uh, session and i would like to give introduction about him uh, jitesh sir is working as a senior engineer at uni converge technology private limited uh, his qualification is he he has done his btech in electronics and telecommunication from uh, gyan vihar school of engineering technology and he has graduated graduated in 2011 his areas of interest are embedded system internet of things and its application and cloud computing uh, he has 7 years of experience in iot wireless and embedded industries and uh, now he is working from last 5 years he is working at uniconverge technology private limited 
he is an industry expert and uh, he also work uh, work uh, in tata cmc academy for 2 years his skill sets are iot application architect using open source hardware platforms he has good knowledge about iot protocols mqtt coap amqp rest app and cloud computing he has leadership skills uh, he he is working as a, a leader at the company he is also mentoring project uh, to the trainees uh, and uh, he he has excellent track record in implementing debugging and solving issues in iot devices and iot applications so today we are having jitesh sir as a expert so uh, now we would like to uh, request jitesh sir to start the session yes sir can we start sir yes no issue yes. just i have one thing one point i want to mention here with the permission uh, narut sir and other principal as the student if their attendance is there for continuous 3 days then and then the certificate will be offered to them yes sir uh, please please mention this to the all student so that and they should have at least two way communication they should ask the difficulty but attendance is must mandatory uh, yes ma'am yes sir okay so you continue madam all the best and uh, yes. narut sir thank you very much for supporting yes. us yes sir okay madam kiti jalit mula uh sir sangta exact count sir ata total 88 students ahet very good very good yes sir sir ajun join hotel students ne me ushira join hotat sir nahi nahi continue kara continue karan yes. mulanna udya pasun belvar join wala sanga request kara jana yes sir okay so i am doing now thank you sir huh? yes thank you so am i audible ma'am yes sir so now we yes, can yes sir you are audible sir good morning sir and morning. sir we will start now sir and students if you have any query you can ask in between okay first you have to take permission from sir and then you can ask the question all the best students all the best sir normal screen is visible yes sir yes sir, i can see the ppt sir okay so good morning everyone uh, this is our day one on online workshop on iot in uh, iot and its applications so as ma'am already your my introduction so my name is jitesh kumar uh, i have total 10 year experience in the field of embedded system and iot and i am also the instructor at the iot academy so iot academy is a uh, pioneer maker education company experience i also have been teaching student in classroom and online setting so today our topic is iot architecture so this is the three day workshop so in this 3 day workshop day 1 today we will cover the iot architecture so this is a very important part the architecture of uh, uh, iot in this we will see the components of the iot different different module of the iot so in this uh, agenda in this uh, complete uh, two day uh, one day this uh, two hour session we will learn the iot the history of the iot different different components of the iot what are the pros and cons of the iot and the application of iot where we can use the iot and the different different communication model that we will use into the iot so make uh, please everyone make this session interactive if you have any doubt you can ask so anyone in this uh, students group do you know what is iot anyone so have they can mute they can unmute them or not they are permission students have the permissions or not yes sir yes sir they have they have permission they can mute and unmute their self okay okay so anyone anyone from the student what is iot things? yes yes what is iot internet of things 
that is the full form of iot i am asking uh, what is iot means where you uh, the any explanation any example of the iot you have seen anyone any example of the iot Do you have any uh, devices from anywhere? Okay, thank you. So, what is IoT? Like internet connect all the people. So it is called internet of people. Like through the internet, like we can connect our mobiles, our tablets, our computer. We can connect all the things through the internet and. by using internet we can do shopping we can do banking we can listen music we will send mail to each other and we can also by using internet like we are right now we are doing the meeting so everyone i think you everyone you purchase the things from the amazon or flipkart through the shopping uh, these are the some shopping platform and also you can do the banking banking and listen music through the internet so when we connect the things with the internet like our things around us like we can connect our car we can connect uh, our home we can connect factory we can connect the world when we are connecting the things with the internet and we are monitoring the things on our mobile like when we connect the car we can trace the location of the car we can check the fuel we can check the speed of the car similarly when we connect the home to the uh, internet and then we can uh, turn on and off lights we can turn on off tvs electronics similarly we can connect any factory to the internet then we can check the operations in the factory similarly uh, right now there are smart bands and smart watches in the market there we can check the the steps the heart rate and heart beat so when the earlier one there is only internet we can connect our mobile laptop tablet and we can do all the things now in iot we are connecting the things to the internet when we are connecting things means everything around us like smart, like bulb like uh, like any smart switch like all the home appliances tv fridge cooler ac anyone our car so when we are connecting uh, the things to the internet and the things are communicating to each other when the things will communicate to each other that is called internet of things so iot iot connects all the things in our home in our society so we are connecting all the things so it is called internet of things like we are connected through the microsoft team we can communicate through the whatsapp telegram these are the internet of people we all people are communicating each other using internet but when we connect the normal things embedded things to the internet then they will connect to they will communicate to each other that is called internet of things is it clear to everyone the definition of internet of things everyone yes or no it is clear is there any doubt please make this session more interactive everyone is there any doubt no sir no sir so what is internet of things the internet of things or we can, in short we can say iot refer to the billions of physical devices around the world they are, that are now connected to the internet for why because we want to collect and share data to each other So billion of physical devices, physical devices that we can feel it, physical around that is like our mouse keyboard. That are physical devices. So we are connecting to the internet, and they are all sharing the data. So taking everyday things, embedding them with the electronic software sensor, and connecting them to internet, and enabling them to collect and exchange data without human intervention. So they are exchanging data. and they are collecting data there is no human intervention so it is called the internet of things like these are the things that are connected to gateway we will understand what is the meaning of gateway then we will upload data to the cloud so if we talk about the history of the iot so that term 
the internet of things that iot was coined by kevin aston in the presentation to the procter and gamble in 1999 so there is a uh, presentation by the kevin aston to the procter and gamble in 19 they this scientist gave name the iot however before uh, or after the internet was discovered in 1982 there is a scientist karen mellon it researches Uh, connected a vending machine. That vending machine is the that is checking the temperature of the cola so, uh, sodas. So in 1982, Carnegie Mellon researchers they connected a vending machine to the internet and they are checking the temperatures of the soda. Uh, in 1990, the there is a toaster that are operated over the internet. Similarly in in after 10 years that lg introduced the first smart fridge in the market in 2004 smart watches are introduced uh, in 2007 and the smart iphone and variable fitbit was released in 2009 google started testing the self driven car and 2011 smart tvs were introduced in 2013 google lens is released followed by eco in 2014 which poses a surge in the smart home market also And also IoT continue growth dramatically. So these are the so in 1999, Kevin Austin gave the term IoT, but before it in 1982, uh, Kevin Austin researchers connected to the for the a vending machine to the internet for checking the uh, remotely the soda temperature in 1999. That there is a uh, toaster is connected to that. So this is the part. So actually. The term is given by the Kevin Austin in 1999. So, what are the uh, com four main components? So, in the IoT, we have to understand the component. This stage is very important. Everyone, please understand. If you have doubt, please ask. So, now there are four main components based on which the Internet of Things ecosystem works. So, means these are the four main pillar of the IoT. you have to understand each and every pillar then you can understand so they are required for end to end implementation from one end to last end end to end implementation of iot what are the pillar what are the components the first is sensor and devices the second one is the connectivity the third one is data processing and the fourth one is user interface so these are the four main components of the iot we have to understand each component and in every component there is a research topic you can research on any topic you can research on devices sensors or devices you can search on connectivity data processing and user interface so there are four stages that these four for, from these four stages you can get the job if you perfect in one stage you can get the job If you perfect in all stage, you will get a good salary job. So these are the four stages: sensor, devices, connectivity, data processing, and user interface. This is the future. Everyone, IoT is the future. You have to understand every stage. You have to understand the architecture. Then you can learn the technology. So the first stage is sensor. What is sensor? So we are right now. We are understanding the first stage. Everyone, please pay attention. The first is sensor or devices. or we can also say the actuator so it is a device that measures physical input from its environment and convert it into data that can be interpreted by a computer so there is a physical input like temperature humidity pressure user input like they are pressing the button so they pressing the switch so these are the things that are reading data from the physical world and converting it to a computer readable data so there are various types of sensors available in the market like for temperature sensor pressure sensor light sensor sound sensor there are lot of sensor available in the market so this sensor is typically integrated with a microprocessor based embedded system which can collect the data and connect to the internet so see here everyone 
I will give you one example of the. Uh, uh, so my screen is visible. This part, the when I am searching this Google part is visible, or not? Uh, no, sir. Uh, sir, you can do one thing. Uh, share entire screen. Now you have just shared the PPT. Okay, Go to okay, share. Now there you can see windows. Now you have so, just shared the PPT. Yes, yes. Now, now, ma'am. Yes, sir. Now we can see your entire screen, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just give me one minute. So here I will show you some sensors in the market uh, that are available. So right now we are using. Just give me one minute. So see here, this is the some uh, this is the simulator. In the simulator, there are uh, some sensor. We will see sensor and actuator. So like. See here, everyone. So this is the this is temperature sensor. Its name is TMP thirty six. So in uh, this sir, sensor, can... this... hello. Yes, uh, simulation screen is not visible, sir. It's not visible. Okay. Uh, so select your entire screen. Just now you have selected your uh, MS Team window. So this is. In Windows, there is only screen one meeting circuit design and my PPT. Uh, I think I, now, yes, sir. Now, now we can see, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Visible. Okay. So see here, everyone. This is a temperature sensor. So this in temperature sensor has three pins. This is the uh, power pin. This is the three volt battery. This is the power pin. This is the ground pin. And the middle one will give you out output. So in the sensor, this sensor is sensing temperature, and there is a transducer who are converting temperature into voltage. So see here, we are getting the voltage here as the output. We are getting voltage. So from voltage, we can get the temperature. So this is the sensor and devices that are reading the physical. So see here, if we start the simulation. See here. This is the temperature. Now I will change the temperature. When I change the temperature, see here the voltage is changing. When I change the so see here it is minus 40 degree. Now there is a slider by we can change the temperature. So when the it there is a 125 degree centigrade, there is a 1.75 volt. When there is a minus 40 degree centigrade, 99. So physical data that is the temperature converting into voltage. So From that voltage, we can get the temperature. Okay, so now uh, this screen is visible. PPT screen. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so so it is a device that measures physical input. What are the sensors that are the uh, getting the data from physical input from its environment and convert into the data that are interpreted by the computer. So. Sensor giving you voltage, so that voltage is converted into digital data. From that digital data, we can convert into the temperature. So that is called the if there is a in the every microcontroller there is a analog to digital converter. So there are various types of sensor. So this sensor is typically integrated with a microprocessor. Like like I think you use the Arduino. Yes or no? Have you used the Arduino? Yes, sir. So you uh, so there is a you you have to interface you have to integrate that sensor with any microprocessor based embedded system which can collect the data and connect to internet. So in this stage, in first stage, there is a some in data from the environment. So by using devices or sensor, we will connect. We will collect the data. It is clear. So on the first day, so there are lot of types of sensor available in the market. So there are touch sensor, speed sensor, position sensor, motion sensor, light sensor, levels, vibration, lot of sensor. So from that sensor, we are collecting the data. So the first stage, we 
have to collect data please remember this part if you remember this part only in the in the rectangle that is important for environment we are collecting data by using sensor so we are collecting temperature sensor humidity sensor we are collecting the data so now this is the first stage so there are some sensor are available in the market temperature sensor ir sensor ultrasonic gyroscope lm35 ir ldr sensor metal detector sensor flex sensor humidity sensor pir sensor gain sensor a lot of sensor in the market so the first stage you have to understand the working of sensor how they give the data how you read the input from the sensor these are the first stage sensor and actuator or device so now the second stage is connectivity so several communication protocol and technology used in iot so depending upon the range power uses cost data rate there is a right one we can use we have to check the range where we have to send data what are the power uses of the data what is the cost of the data what is the data rate so that we collected the data now by using connectivity protocol what are the connectivity protocol so see here these are some connectivities so if we want to send data less than 300 feet that we can use zigbee zeta wave nfc wifi and bluetooth if you want to send data up to 300 feet wirelessly similarly if you want to send data less than 5 km then you can use the cellular services and if you want to send data less than 100 km wirelessly you can use the loraban you can use the nb iot and you can use the sig for so this is a new technology long range so that technology you can use when you you will send data to 100 km then these data is sending to the cloud so by connectivity we can so in the first stage for environment we read the data that is the collect, collect data now collected data using connectivity we are sending to the cloud storage so in the cloud uh, there are uh, lot of services we can use the iot services so the all the collected data is sent via internet to a infrastructure so we can send we can use here the uh, the gateways or not that will depend on the services so then the third stage is called the data processing so till now first stage is sensor and devices and the second stage is connectivity so is there any confusion in the, in this so everyone is comfortable in english or hindi are you comfortable in english or should i speak in hindi also yes everyone students are you comfortable in english or not yes. should i speak yes, yes sir yes sir yes sir we are comfortable sir so is there any doubt in these two stages sensor and devices and connectivity yes everyone is there any confusion no sir Okay. No. So the third stage is data processing. So in the first stage, we will receive data, we will collect data. Then the collected data we send to the cloud. So remember now our data into the cloud. So in the cloud there is third service that is the in the cloud there is now we have to do the data processing. This is the third stage of the IoT. so in this uh, processing stage a computer transform the raw data into the information so our raw data like our temperature hundred of temperature reading thousand of humidity reading thousand of pressure reading so now that are the raw data so we have to convert the raw data into information in this stage so the transformation the raw data into information is carried out by using different data manipulation techniques like imagine there are 20 readings okay so in, so in 20 reading temperature is increasing so we can get information yes 
टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग वाई टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग सिमिलरली ह्यूमिडिटी डिक्रीजिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव रीडिंग वाई ह्यूमिडिटी सो दैट वी विल गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दैट डेटा सो हाउ टू how to convert the into information by using machine that for this we need data manipulation technique so what are the data manipulation technique the first one is data aggregation when we are collecting the data from different different devices so that this process can be aggregating from multiple devices like ac or light or maybe there is data extraction data extraction means imagine the car is moving we have the video of the different different car so we have to extract data we have to अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ सर यू आर म्यूटेड सर हेलो यस नाउ वी कैन हियर यू सर सो आई थिंक नाउ माय वॉइस इज क्लियर सर Yes sir yes sir So bari so in the hello sanjar manjila de ha sir scan ma me shoshi shikena asta hello thank you so nitin bhanu se nitin bhanu se mute yourself so just now i have muted him sir sorry for the disturbance sir nitin don't unmute yourself so in the data processing stage a computer transfer the raw data into the information so what is the transformation when uh, the raw data like the temperature reading humidity reading from that we are getting the so these are the four stages of uh, data processing data aggregation data extraction data classification and data analytics so these are the four stages of data processing so in data extract data aggregation we are collecting the data from different different sensor data extraction means we are extract the data from the video feed data classification data is categorized in different different like this is banana tree mango orange like this and data analytics so there are some software perform data processing onto the cloud to get analyzed or computed data like computing uh, the temperature within a acceptable range so on the cloud storage we will apply some data processing and then we analyze data so if we talk talk about the, from the first stage from the these are the sensor devices connective uh, connectivity data processing user interface from the first stage there is a from environment we are collecting the data then collected data is using connectivity protocol we send to the cloud storage so into the cloud storage there is a data processing so we are doing some data data aggregation data extraction data classification and data analytics scheme these are called data processing okay so now the last one is the user interface so the information process is made available to the end user in some way like any app which can trigger alarm or send them notification through email or text message so it might it might provide the user with actual life it so we will show our data to the end user like if you are a end user you will see data on your mobile you can see data on your laptop so in this we can also trigger alarm and we can also send notification like when temperature exceeded 
from uh, from, from 35 or 36 degrees centigrade then we can we can send we can trigger the alarm and we can also send the notification through mail or text message so we can also provide the user the live actual field or we can also show something so the application could also provide an interface to send instruction back as well and we can also turn off and on devices by using mobile app or or our system app like resetting the temperature or releasing water to the plant based upon moisture reading so the analyze or computer data is made useful to the end user via alert like email text notification like alert message when temperature is beyond the acceptable range so that is the analyze data by using interface we are converted into human oriented information so these are the four stages of the iot like we can send alert notification live plan and remote control so these are the four stages sensor and devices we are collecting the data from physical world that using connectivity protocol we will send data to the cloud now in the cloud there is a data processing data extraction data uh, aggregation and that data we are made useful we will we will see data to we will send the alert we will send the notification by using user interface so these are the four different different components of the iot these are the four stages four pillars of the iot anyone do you have any doubt in this anyone do you have any doubt please ask your doubt anyone please student make this session interactive if you have any doubt if any if there is there is any doubt you can ask please ask your doubt anyone no yes. doubt sir okay so we will also see uh, some live i will show you some live uh, project explanation so see here uh, this paint screen is visible to everyone yes, yes sir. sir so see here first you have yes. to understand everyone imagine there is a door imagine this is the door so what are uh, what is the data associated with door anyone can you tell me what is the data associated with door anyone door is open or closed yes the first is maybe the door is open or second maybe the door is closed yes or no everyone maybe your door is open or maybe your door is closed this is the data associated with this imagine there is a light bulb this is the light bulb what are the data associated with this what are the data on associated on with on or off yes that is called the state of the bulb yes or no that is the state the state may be on and the state may be off any other data associated with bulb intensity of light yes the intensity any other any other any other data associated with this that we can say the power consumption yes or no we can get the power consumption is also data associated with it yes or no everyone yes, yes sir, sir. Similarly, yes sir. in yes. their house there is a in their house there is a fan imagine this is the fan so what is the data associated with fan the first thing is same on. the state the fan is speed. on or off yes on that is the speed speed of the fan anyone yes the power consumption very good so these are the devices okay these are the devices that you can find around yourself so by using iot 
see here everyone please understand this is very important because architecture of any technology is important you have to understand the architecture carefully please this part is very good. so like there is a door there is a bulb or there is a fan so you are connecting these things to the internet you are connecting these things to the internet okay and you can monitor these devices on your mobile you can check the state of the device you can check the power consumption of every device you can check the intensity you can check the speed of the device like this so you can check all the data associated onto your mobile device so this is called the iot when you are monitoring the things actually this is the monitoring so you are monitoring the things on your mobile app that is the iot it is clear or not everyone tell me yes sir yes sir you are connecting these things yes, to the internet and you are controlling like you are doing shopping on amazon mintra or any flipkart so you are communicating to the mintra to the uh, to the amazon through the internet similarly now you are replaced by things so now things are connecting with internet and you are monitoring that things using your mobile app that is iot so now we will understand the iot the iot architecture in different stages you see here everyone this part is very important iot architecture right now we are understanding in different manner this part is very important so see here everyone the in iot architecture there are total three stages you you can say sir you you already told there are four components in the iot right now you are saying there are three stages so this is the iot architecture by example we are understanding so then you you we are we can merge two two stages into one stage so no issue in that so for the first stage is called the perception layer the first layer is called the perception layer so in this perception layer all the things will come all the things will come under this all the things like there is sensor actuators there are sensors there are actuators there are microcontrollers there are microcontroller these are the come under the perception layer so this is called the first stage that first stage that explained by me in this this one we can say this this is the first stage perception layer sensor and devices yes or no yes or no yes sir yes sir so the first layer that is the yes, perception sir. layer in the perception layer there is a sensor actuator and microcontroller actually this is the first component of the iot as a sensor and devices okay so we will understand this and the second layer i will tell you this is the second layer the second layer is called the network layer and the third layer or third component we can say that is the sorry that is the application layer so we will understand every layer we will understand each and every layer so first now we will start from the so i am saving it for you okay yeah so see here we have to understand so how many layers i told you how many layers in iot <laughs> Yes. Three. 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 Three.
थ्री लेयर परसेप्शन लेयर सेकंड वन नेटवर्क थर्ड वन इज एप्लीकेशन लेयर सो ओके नाउ इन द परसेप्शन लेयर देर आर टू पार्ट नाउ द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज सेंसर or we can say also the actuator and the second stage is called here the microcontroller micro controller so what are the sensor that convert physical data into digital data yes or no what are the sensor that convert physical data into digital and what are the actuator that convert electrical signal into mechanical so imagine and what are the microcontroller you can use here like microcontroller like arduino you know this is the microcontroller you can use the node mcu you can use the esp32 it is called the esp8266 you can use the sbc single board computer that is the raspberry pi i think you hear this name yes or no raspberry pi yes sir yes sir so just so is there uh, i think you are also getting this blue screen here little part hello now the screen visible yes sir yes sir okay so there are sensor and so first is the sensor and actuator that are the different different sensor temperature pressure humidity and some microcontroller okay so now imagine everyone i have to uh, write here just give me one minute so see here imagine there is a door this is the door and there is in the do the door with door sensor there is a door with door sensor okay so the microcontroller right now we are using imagine there is a arduino uno arduino uno so there is the door sensor will give you two things maybe the door is open the door is closed when door is open it will give you zero when door is closed it will give you one okay so the door with a door sensor now you are giving this data to the arduino uno so this layer this part sensor this is the sensor sensor with microcontroller this part is called the perception layer and in the in according to the component this is the first component sensor slash devices when we collect the data see here we already told understand this from the environment using device sensor we collect the data what are the data we collected that are if door is open we have data 0 if door is closed we have data 1 it is clear everyone it is clear everyone yes sir so this is the first layer yes sir. and the and perception layer we can also say you can also say sir perception layer is same like as a uh, the first layer that is the sensor and devices in this ppt yes we can say the first layer perception layer equal to sensor and devices the first component it is clear everyone yes yes clear yes, everyone okay yes. so we are yes, i sir. i am saving it for you okay this is our second is there any confusion please ask this part is very important now come to the second layer the second layer what is the name of the second layer network yes network layer and what are the components and now i think we have to move the next component 
that is the connectivity yes or no maybe in yes. network layer there is a connectivity so in the network layer there is connectivity yes now the second component component is under second layer connectivity and also the cloud part so we already see here in this ppt in the second component these are the connectivity protocol with cloud it is clear to everyone yes or no the, yes sir yes sir in network layer there is second component so in connectivity there are different different communication technologies if we talk about the communication technologies here in the connectivity there are communication technologies technologies are there okay so these are some conventional technologies and this is the there are some new technology conventional technologies are wifi ethernet or gsm these are the some conventional technologies wifi so how you connect your laptop to the internet through wifi ethernet or gsm yes or no these are the three methods by which you can connect your laptop or mobile to the internet yes sir everyone so these are yes, the sir. conventional yes. technology by which you so there are some new technology of iot communication technology that technology is called like there are ble bluetooth low energy there is zigbee there is long range this is the name of the technology in short we are saying it and also the rf also the zeta wave these are the new technologies in the market the old the old technology these are old technologies or we conventional like wifi ethernet gsm and the new technology ble zigbee zeta wave long range rf see here what we seen here according to range so this is the category less than 300 feet so how to choose connectivity which one to use these are the factor range power uses cost and data rate these are the four factor by which we have this means we have to imagine you have data you have to send data to a long distance you have to send data 3 km then you can use the loravan so these are the technologies under this now in the cloud in the cloud there are three parts everyone understand in the cloud there are three parts that is called the software as a service s a a s then platform as a service i p a s then infrastructure as a service yes or no so have you have you used that uh, the you are converting the ppt into pdf online have you used yes you are so that is the that is the software as a service that is the, so you are giving to them and they are converting into the uh, people you are giving the ppt to them they are converting pdf that is called software there is a software maybe there is another software you have to install in your laptop then that will convert uh, your ppt into pdf but there is also uh, through uh, there is a, another method of the cloud computing there is no need to install use online services so you are using software as a services similarly in the cloud there are three parts software as a services platform as a services and infrastructure as a services means complete infrastructure you are using you are using only platform that is the platform as a service so these are the uh, in the cloud 
it, it is a combination of three parts software as a service so this come under the second this is the this layer in this in this layer there is a second component the second component is connectivity all the collector data is sent to cloud storage it is clear everyone it is clear everyone yes. yes okay already the what the bonus okay so now please understand i am saving it for you because these are very important okay now understand everyone <coughs> sorry so <coughs> sorry so there is communication technology there are communication technology which are the some are conventional what are the conventional technology wifi please everyone internet. wifi internet gsm these are conventional technologies and the new technologies are bli jgp bli bluetooth low energy zora rf and gta wave and many more yes gta wave these are the tech. so imagine you have data like see here everyone this is the door there is a door sensor this is the door sensor door sensor have data 0 and 1 yes or no and yes. here is a here is a arduino you know okay so now arduino you know with wifi shield imagine with arduino you know you have wifi shield means you are connecting to the internet now so see here if you have everyone see here if you have wifi see here this is wifi or maybe at this place arduino you know you have ethernet and you have gsm you have ethernet or gsm means this one if you have these technology with the microcontroller so then you can directly you can directly send data to the cloud if you have wifi if you have ethernet if you have gsm then you can send directly data to the cloud it is possible it is clear to everyone this part if you have yes. na, wifi you can if you have ethernet or gsm then you can send data to cloud directly there is no issue but there is issue in this if there is ble at the place of this see here i will remove imagine with arduino you know with arduino you know imagine here with this with arduino you know imagine you have ble you have lora imagine anyone imagine you have ble then you cannot send data directly to the cloud please remember because these technologies are trans receiver technologies these are trans receiver technology you cannot send data directly to the cloud if you have these technologies with you it is clear everyone so then what is the process how can we send data to cloud if you have ble lora zigbee then for this you need a gateway what is what is you what is need gateway gateway in that ah yes in the gateway there are two part input part and output part so in the gateway imagine you are using ble so this is the ble transmitter so at this place there is a ble receiver so you are sending data through ble to this there is a ble ble transmitter ble receiver you are sending data wirelessly 
so at the output part of the this gateway you have wifi so if you now you have wifi you can send data to the cloud now means you can send data directly to the cloud because means how to upload data you there must be wifi ethernet and gsm then you can send data to the cloud so this is the connectivity you are sending data it depend on the uh, depend on the you can say the range imagine you want to send data there is a lora device you have the send the data you have data that is a lora device okay so now you will send data approx 3 km this gateway there it is 3 km far so now you are sending data wirelessly so here is in the input side there is maybe lora devices there is a lora receiver here is a lora transmitter at this is, so you are sending data and in the output side of the cloud there is a wifi gsm or ethernet now you can upload data to the cloud it is clear now you understanding when gateway is needed or not everyone gateway hold over there avada it is clear or not everyone yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. so yes, what sir. is the meaning of gateway if i ask what is the meaning of gateway what is the meaning of gateway yes it connect yes yes sudeep anyone what is the gateway have you so see here please mute your mic ma'am please there is a sound is coming hello so this is the technology so i will also explain so this will come everyone this will come under the connectivity this will come when you uploaded the data this will come under the connectivity so see here there is a application i will explain to you i will explain to you everyone understand see here there is a device okay and this is the temperature sensor this is the temperature sensor okay and this old device is situated into the forest you are into the forest this is the device and this device is battery operated device means it will not run on any power it will battery operated small battery operated device it is called the battery operated device because there is forest there is no power so that is called called the low power device it is clear everyone yes or no yes, yes sir so this is the battery operated device into the forest so with this battery operated device we are using a technology that technology is connectivity that is the lora communication so this part sensor this is the sensor this is the microcontroller so this part is perception layer yes or no sensor with microcontroller yes sir this is the perception layer now with the lora communication you are sending data wirelessly this is the wirelessly so here is the gateway this is the gateway and here here is power available at this place and here is the Uh, we can say the internet also available internet available is this is this place in this place there is no internet also in forest there is no internet no gsm no wifi no internet so this is the this is the project we are right now explaining so sensor with microcontroller perception layer by using connectivity protocol connectivity protocol is lora so this is the lora transmitter by using wireless communication we are sending data to the gateway why because we have to send data to the cloud at this place we cannot if we have wifi we cannot send data to the 
cloud because there is no internet. So by using communication technology, we are sending data approx 2 kilometers. Without wire, we are sending this data to the gateway. In the gateway, there are two parts, input or output. In input part, there is a LoRa module that is called the trans receiver. See here, this is the LoRa transmitter. This is the LoRa receiver. So they are communicating wirelessly and this distance approaches two to three kilometers. That is called trans receiver module, transmitter and receiver module. So they are sending data. So now we will receive data. So output side imagine there is Wi-Fi available, Wi-Fi, Ethernet or GSM, anyone. Now we can upload that temperature reading to the cloud because there is a Wi-Fi at the gateway. It is clear or not, everyone? It is clear or not, everyone? Yes, sir. It's clear. Yes, sir. It is the requirement of the gateway. Are you understanding the meaning of the gateway? Why we need it get gateway? Depend on the technologies. These technologies, LoRa and see here, everyone. These are the technologies, LoRa and NBIT six six folks. These technology is called LP WAN technology, which which technology? LP WAN because it requires low power. These technology, LoRa, Sigfox, it can run on low power. See here. Means this this device is working on battery. There is a small cell, three volt battery, coin cell battery operator. This temperature sensor is also working on same that battery. This LoRa device is also working on same that battery. There is a battery image. So they are using minimum power. They are using only. So with this cell, there is a cell. So this device will work on 10 years on this cell. 10 years this device will work. This is meaning of low power. So we have to use a technology, communication technology that also will run on low power. So this LoRaWAN technology, Zigbee, uh, not Zigbee, LoRaWAN, Sigfox, these are called LP WAN technology. Are you understanding or not, everyone? Yes, sir. These technology will send data to two to three kilometers wirelessly, only working on simple cell, three three volt coin cell battery. The battery in the shape of coin. So this is the so now you understand the meaning of perception layer with connectivity protocol, and yeah, now you uploaded data to the cloud. These are the two layers. Under two layers, there are two pillars of the IoT. It is clear or not, everyone? And I think you all, you all, you also understand the meaning of gateway also. It is clear or not? What is the meaning of gateway? Everyone is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is the second layer that we already understood. Okay. So, now, what, what is the third layer? What is the third layer? Yes. Application. Please mute your mic, please, students. So the next stage is the application layer. So now we are ready with the data. Data into the cloud. Yes or no? Now data into the cloud. That layer is called the application layer. So, in application layer, we will store data into the database. Uh, like uh, in the cloud, there are different, different cloud. Like AWS, Microsoft, Azure, ThingSpeak. IBM Cloud. So there are a lot of data. So by using application, there we can access the data on our smartphone. So we can create the mobile app by using, we can create the mobile app. We can create the web app, web, uh, website like 
and we can also create the VUI. VUI means the voice user interface, like Google Google uh, Assistant. There is a Google Assistant, Siri, Alexa. We are so we will interact with these devices using the voice. So in the application layer, there are two mainly part the data processing. In the data processing, there are four data extracting, data aggregator, and the second layer in this application that is the user interface. So in this third layer, in this third layer, there are two components: data processing and user interface. These are the components under this third one. These are the data processing and user interface come under this third layer that is the application layer. It is clear or not everyone? Yes or yes, no? Yes sir. So we can, if we, if we combine these three layers, if we combine with these three layers, like this, so there is a data. Uh, we can also see here the this one, fourth one. Let's wait. There, I am opening it. This. So now we have data. Okay, now data in the cloud. By cloud, we can get the mobile app. We can make the. We can make the web app. Also, we can we have to apply here the data processing, extracting. We we have to apply onto so on the cloud. Which are the services we can use the data extracting, data aggregation, and data manipulating. These are the services. And from the cloud, we can connect our mobile and uh, our devices uh, like web, web devices, any laptop. So this is the complete architecture. So there are four stages. We already discussed, and there are three layers. In the three layer, first layer is perception layer. There is a sensor and devices with microcontroller. Second stage is the uh, your connectivity, that is a network layer. In the network layer, there is connectivity and cloud storage. The third layer and fourth data processing and user interface that are come under the application layer. So it is clear to everyone. These four. This is the complete architecture of IoT. It is clear or not? Is there any doubt? Yes. Is there any doubt? You can ask anyone. Please ask your doubt. Yes. Yes. Is there any doubt? Everyone. Hello. Is there any doubt? No doubt, sir. No, sir. No doubt, sir. Okay. So now, there are some pros and cons of the IoT. What are the advantages of IoT? To minimize the human effort, and we can also the save the time. We can also do more automation and technical optimization. We will use also. We will help us to reduce waste and use our natural resources effectively. But other disadvantages: there is security of confidential data is main concern. We can lead to various types of network attacks, and there is also maintaining privacy is challenge. And everyone see here, uh, we will also on the third day we have the hands-on part. On the third day we will make a project. So by that for that project we will use this hardware. Are you able to see this hardware, everyone? Are you able to see this hardware, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this hardware yes, we will use. So there is a. This is the Node MCU. See here, everyone. If we use the Arduino, see here. If there is a Arduino, you know. Imagine if you will use Arduino, you know. So like this. So there is only. Development board you will get from the Arduino. This type of development board. 
so there is no there is no any other ic for the internet connectivity so if you have arduino so there is a problem how to connect with the internet for this you need arduino wifi shield you need arduino wifi shield for that these are the arduino wifi shield that plug onto the board see here I will show you how to plug onto the board. There is some picture like this. So you need Arduino. You know, with over there, this green one is a shield. So you need two hardware. Yes or no, everyone? Now you yes, can sir. connect Arduino to the yes, internet sir. if you want to use the Wi-Fi. So you need Wi-Fi shield. If you want to use Ethernet, then you need Ethernet shield. If you want to connect with GSM, then you need GSM shield. So you have to purchase the board with the shield. You have to purchase two hardware. But in this board, see here in in this board, this is the Node MCU. It has already Wi-Fi capability into it. Means you no need to purchase any other hardware. This is the Node MCU part. I will show you Node MCU only single device. See here. This is the node MCU. It is this is this is the node MCU. It has Wi-Fi capability already into it. Means no need extra shield. And there is also microcontroller that are 32 bit microcontroller that is much more powerful than Arduino. You know. So we are using this device onto our board. And there are some sensors. See here. There are some sensors. Uh, temperature humidity sensor ldr sensor air quality sensor ultrasonic sensor uh, this is the gyroscope accelerometer there is a oled display so we will use this hardware in our day 3 on day 3 so anyone if you want to purchase you can contact me if you want to purchase this hardware you can contact me we will ship your board as soon as you have to contact me today because we will ship the board today then you will get on on Wednesday. Okay, so this hardware we will use. This is the our IoT development board. This is our company website. So there are lot of IoT hardware you can check. Like see here, this is the hardware that is ESP32 with LoRa communication. We have ESP32 and there is all inbuilt LoRa is also there. This is ESP32 and also there is one hardware that is Arduino with LoRa. See here, this is the Arduino we built onto the board. There are some sensor and this is the LoRa communication. This is the antenna. So Arduino with LoRa, for this you have to purchase then two boards. That is issue. <coughs> because there is one transmitter receiver, LoRa transmitter receiver technology. It is clear or not everyone? But this, this one we will use. This one. This one we will use. This hardware we will use in our training in this three day workshop. So it is clear to everyone which hardware we are using. Yes or no? So there are some IoT application in the market. So there are, we can use IoT in health monitoring. We can use IoT in smart grid. We can use IoT in retail. We can use IoT in hospitality, in smart factories, in fitness tracker, smart farming, self-driving cars, and also in smart home and smart city. So in the smart city, like India, there are some smart cities. So the smart city or the city of the future is a popular Internet of Things application concept that classifies technology as responsible for improving urban infrastructure to make urban center more efficient. So in, in smart city projects, there is a smart grid application, there is smart education, smart water solution, smart governance, there is smart healthcare, there is smart transformation. What is in smart grid? There is a smart meter in your houses that, that can connect to the uh, through the internet, through the power station. There are also some renewable source of energy in the field of smart grid. If we talk about smart education, there is smart uh, electronics boards are in the in the schools and colleges. There is also mobile learning, smart water solution. There is a Google map integration with the water solution. There is smart governance. There is centralized command center. So in smart city project, 
there are lot of pillars so in every pillar there is a iot smart transportation smart health care so the concept of smart city addresses planning and public administration through the automation of service in a creative and sustain, sustainable way smart city improve and modernize many sectors including government transport traffic management energy healthcare water innovate urban architecture and waste management also the smart home the second application of iot smart home we can automate our home like smart gateway vibration sensor the motion sensor so i will show you uh, just give me one minute i will show you the hands on that we will make on to our uh, board so this is the iot academy facebook page here you can check there are of application see here you can uh, so check the simi one let me let me find i will show you some smart home this is the smartphone home see here this is this is the so see here in this this is our hardware device we connected the four lights smart this is our home appliances this is the relay module so by using mobile phone i am turning on and off this devices see here everyone uh, i will make it slow because it is little bit fast so see here now see here everyone see here i am press this button for light one see here light one is now glowing when i turning on the light number 2 by there is a button on this light number 2 is glowing for light 3 when i press the light 3 here light 3 is glowing here the light four is blank now we can also turn off this one see here by long press we are so in this we are making app we are making all the connection we are writing the code so this is the iot application you can also turn on and off your home appliances see here this is the start off by using google firebase we are turning on and off light here I long press. I am turning off the light. So, you can check this type of application. We, you can make this type of application. Everyone. Similarly, there is also some another application. You can check on this. Uh, see here, this one. here by voice command we are turning off there is a yellow yellow light there is a orange light by using voice command we are controlling the light here this is a smart home application by our board see here i think you are not getting the voice the video when you see i will share the link of this video see here by using google assistant we are controlling the devices so i will share the link of these videos to you you can check it and also check you another videos also on this platform so these are some smart home application we can make we can use iot informing here we can check the moisture of the soil then we can turn or pump according to the percentage of the moisture into the soil and there is or iot in healthcare like we can connect our smartphone so there is in market there is also the smart watches smart vents in the market 
they are calculating the heart rate they are calculating the uh, also the another factors so they are uploading data to the cloud from the cloud the doctor is monitoring so some healthcare section you can also apply the iot and this is the lp wave technology that we are already discussed so lp wave low power wide area network is a wireless wide area network technology that interconnect low bandwidth battery power devices with low bit rate and long range so with lp wave lp wave technology it will use in machine to machine in iot network and it will operate on lower cost lower power with greater power efficiency than mobile network it efficiency see here there the bluetooth there are 10 meter by lora sipus we will send data 1 to 2 km we are also using this technology so in wireless technology this is the graph between the range and power consumption if you use wifi it will consume a lot of power if you and there is a short range for the wifi if you use 2g 3g 4g the range is more but it will use more power if you use bluetooth zigbee the range is small and the power consumption is low in this but in lp wave technology see here so we need a sector where the device the range is high and power consumption is low for under there is a lp wave technology this technology will run on low power lp means low power wide area network it will covering the wide area the range is high and work, working on very low power so these are the technology under the lp wave so if we use the local area network services lan it is common place wifi is available in our home zigbee bluetooth these are the what are the cons high high battery consumption and the range is very short if we use cellular 2g 3g 4g the coverage is wide the medium is range but high battery consumption and high data cost cost is very high by using lp wave technology loraban and bit long range low battery user low cost so there is a some capacity uh, down leak capacity is limited to compared to nb iot but this is not a big cost the pros are very important you can run on long range you can run on low battery power users and the low cost that is the part of this lp wave technology so we have to use the lp wave there are some so i think is there any doubt till now in this lp wave the application is there any doubt anyone please ask your doubt now the doubt time we can take your doubt this is a complete iot architecture is there any doubt in this please ask yes anyone is there any doubt in this you can ask participants please ask your doubt if you have any yes no, everyone no. so what you understood today anyone can you explain in 5 minutes anyone please make this session more interactive yes anyone is there any doubt you can can you explain the today's iot architecture in 5 minutes anyone so i think there are 106 students so please everyone can you explain yes students is there any doubt so now i think students are not interested so this is the future please everyone with the using iot you can control the devices you can communicate the device with different different technologies so this is the future right now we are also working on see here there are some gateways we are working on that see here everyone so this is our company website so there are some product so see here that this is the gateway that is the lora ethernet gateway so see here there are different type of digital controllers that's in that so this is the communication 
so this is the rs48 by using different different plc we are getting the data using rs48 485 communication so we are accepting the data then we are sending data to the lora communication so this is the gateway that are getting data so there is a lora transmitter there is a lora receiver now by using wifi by using ethernet see here by using ethernet we are sending data to the cloud using different different protocol so see here imagine you have data and there is a cloud see here if there is a cloud this is the cloud and there the data is here so now now by using wifi we are sending data to the cloud but in this there is a communication protocol we are using that is called the iot protocol the mqtt the coap the http amqp these are the some iot protocol when we are uploading data to the cloud using wifi that time we need some protocol how to upload data to the cloud so for that we need some iot protocol that protocol are come under this these are the iot protocols that we will use http coap web socket mqtt xmpp so the osi model in this there are seven layer application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer and we will combine in tcp ip model we will combine these three layers application layer presentation layer application session layer we combine into one layer that is application layer. transport layer is transport layer network layer is called internet layer and data link layer and physical layer combined into network access layer in tcp ip model so in application layer there are some group of protocol http smtp ftp snmp these are the application layer protocol similarly in transport layer these are the transport layer protocol internet layer these are internet layer protocol the network access layer this is the network access layer protocols so right now in the iot protocol these are same four layer application layer transport layer network layer link layer so the application layer protocol are working on imagine if you are using wifi so by using wifi plus ipv4 plus tcp so you need tcp ip stack wifi right now we are we chosen here so by using http protocol we are sending data to the cloud over http so these are the application layer protocols in orange area http mqtt http means hypertext transfer protocol mqtt means message queuing telemetry transport protocol cop means constrained application protocol amqp means advanced message queue protocol so these are some application protocol application layer protocol these are called the iot protocol when we are uploading data to the cloud there are some protocols are there so these protocol are using two communication model request response communication model and publish subscribe communication model so in the the request response communication model the request is sent by the client to the server then server process that request and send back to the response back to the client so see here like right now here i am using like uh, arduino web so this is the arduino website we are opening so it means our browser is a client that sent information to the server so who is the server the arduino server so we will reply from the arduino server that is called the response so this web page is as a response similarly if we write here the google so we will get reply from the google this web page so this is the response from the google and it means google is a server and we are client so our browser is a client so they are sending the request using http https protocol see here when we write here google only google.com and press enter this part already automatically will come so this is the https by using http 
HTTPS protocol, we are sending the request and we will receive the response. Similarly, we are, if we write here Arduino.cc, so see here, we are sending the request using HTTPS. So this is called request response communication model. Same communication model is followed by these IoT protocols, HTTP, XMPP, and COAP. These are the I IoT protocol that we will use. So request response is a communication model in which the client send requests to the server and the server respond to the request. So this type of communication model, model is followed by this protocol. The second one is the public subscribe. In the, there are some publisher, there are some subscriber and there is middle one is the broker. So the public subscribe is a communication model that involves publisher, broker and the consumer and also called the subscriber. Like in the YouTube, you subscribe to any channel. So you are subscriber, YouTube is a broker and anyone upload data to a channel that is a publisher. So publisher are the source of the data. Publishers send the data to the topic which are managed by the broker and publishers are not aware of the consumer. Consumer subscribe to the topic which are managed by the broker. So when the broker receives data for a topic from the publisher, so it will send data to broker and broker will send data to the different different subscriber. So these are the public subscribe, two communication model, request response and the public subscribe communication model is done with the help of IoT. So these are some communication models in complete IoT architecture. Yes, is anyone, if you have any confusion, you can ask, anyone. The IoT architecture is understood by everyone. Yes or no? IoT architecture, every stage. Yes, sir. Now yes, sir. we can take the doubt. Please, if you have any doubt, ask your doubt. Anyone? In this two model, request response, communication model, public subscribe model, these are the IoT protocol. When we will upload data to the cloud, that time we will need this by using Wi-Fi protocol. Imagine with using Wi-Fi protocol, you are sending data. That time we will need plus we will need some IoT protocol. IoT protocols. So which are the IoT protocol that depends on two communication model like request response. There is some request, some protocol that follow request response communication model and some protocol are following publish subscribe model. In every sector, we are using the IoT. So in the request response, the HTTP uh, in public subscribe, there is a MQTT. So these are some IoT protocols that are using when you are uploading data to the cloud using Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or DSL. So now, similarly, there is also REST-based communication API. That is the REST means representational state transfer is a set of architecture principle by which you can design web services and web API that focus on a system resource and how resource states are addressed and transferred. So REST API also follow the request response communication model. Okay. So there are some IoT hardware in the market. Arduino, you know, we require, but Arduino, you know, we require Wi-Fi shield. Similarly, there is a node MCU. There is no any shield required. Raspberry Pi, there is also no other, another shared Pi, ESP32, BeagleBone, CC32, this is from the Intel. So these are the some possible IoT hardware that we require. So if you want to do, if you are interested to work in IoT, so that is very important. So this is the complete IoT architecture I explained to you how to use from every stage. These are the four stages that we discussed. So anyone, do you have any confusion? So now see here, now things are connected to gateway and by using gateway technology, we are sending data to the cloud. 
so these are the meaning of gateway when you have internet see here in this picture if you have data and you you want to send it a long distance there is a battery operated device then you need, need there is no necessary every time we need gateway if we have wifi technology then there is no need of any gateway so these are the four stages i explained to you is there any confusion now students you can ask anyone and this is the future this is the future everyone you have to understand this is the in iot we are using iot in different different model we are product based company see here i already told you we are product based company we are making project we are not from educational institute we are not educational institute and we are from that i am the developer so these are the some gateways this is the data aggregation and monitoring system these are some wireless devices also there you can also read i will also share the link of this website you can check please ask your doubt please everyone there must be doubt no one is asking yes everyone is there any doubt you can ask this is the page youtube page you can check i think there is no doubt so <clears throat> swangi bhai this is and from my side hello hello swangi bhai are you there yes wait hello हेलो हेलो मैं मारियो जो मैम योर वॉइस इज नॉट योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग हेलो ये हेलो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग योर वॉइस मैम हेलो Yes. Now, am I clear? My voice yes. is clear. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Sir, uh, we'll stop here. And if you have any questions, you can ask, sir. Yes. Any questions? you can yes no reply right uh, no, no ma'am no comments okay good so everything yes sir थैंक यू जितेश फॉर टूडे सेशन
थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू गिव अस अ अपॉर्चुनिटी हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल मैम योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट गेटिंग हेलो यस ऑडियंस आई कैन हियर यू क्लियरली सर ओके आई कैन हियर यू सर I'm not getting your voice, ma'am. Tomorrow, ten a.m. Still, my voice break. You are breaking, ma'am. Your voice is breaking. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, ma'am. So, students, see tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm going to fill the attendance form. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Rohan. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma okay. So before leaving the meeting, I'm without fail. Otherwise, you won't get the certificate. Attendance should be hundred percent. Then only you will get the certificate. Is that clear to all? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Then we'll stop here. Now we'll stop here. Everybody, fill the attendance sheet form before leaving the midday. And see you on. No, see you all tomorrow, 10 a.m. Join the meeting at 10 a.m. Bye, everyone.